Hello everyone, welcome to a new video where I'll show you how the shaded garden works. This kind of sprout, or rather bush, when broken, can give you various items. Among all the possible items are these. I have them all here, which are basically beans, blackberries, garlic, jute, leeks, spices, radishes, rhubarb, leeks, spice leaves, sweet potatoes, tea leaves, truffles, tomatoes, the turnip, which I think is, well, turnip, white mushroom, and zucchini. These are all the items it can give you now, at least in version 1. 20.1 or current versions. March 9th, 2024, the latest version. This element is found in forests, especially in birch and oak forests, and you'll find it there, in various bushes with some space between them. And, well, to highlight among all the items it can give, I'd like to point out, obviously, there's a lot, there's lots of vegetation, no fences, but plenty of plants and mushrooms too. But I'd like to highlight it among all the elements I'd like to point out. I think it's, I think it's this one. Subtitles by Amara.org community. I'd like to highlight two elements. The first of all is spice leaves. Spice leaves basically have various unique uses, as you can see. This item has 19 unique crafting recipes not shared with anything else, with nothing else. 19 unique crafts. Not just for this item, but among all existing elements. Spice leaves are used in crafting and can only be obtained from the shaded garden. And then we have tea leaves. Tea leaves are used for all types of tea. There are only five teas, but it's the only way to get tea leaf. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to have Pam's Harvest Craft 2 in the crops section, or you won't get the shaded garden or other items. Well, I hope you liked it and see you in future videos. Bye bye.